Hello everybody, Burnt Out Guy here, and welcome back. Alright, so we're here playing Dismantle. Alright, we haven't done this in a little while. Um, aha, this is quite a bit of, uh, well, not really has changed, but they've added more, so it gives me a chance to come back and revisit it and see what uh, what's going on and what's changed, right? Alright, so if you look at our map here, uh, apparently we left off up, uh, up north here. So we're going to check out this bridge, see if we can fix it, if we gather enough wood. I think that's what we need. And then um, maybe we go check this area out and go up here and see if we can venture off onto this side. If we cannot, and we cannot do that, um, then our other area to go to is here. Then this is the next place that we gotta go to. Because we did open this area. That's how we got to that um, a campfire, right? So anyways, uh, let's check up out here. Uh, the good thing is, is all the enemies are still dead of what I've killed from the last time when we were here. Um, it's kind of odd. I think they would spawn back by now, but that's fine. I'm not complaining. So we got all this wood here if we need it. We'll go check out, uh, what we're going to need to fix that, um, that bridge. All these wolves. That's pretty awesome. Uh, all right. So it is right here. And what do we need to fix it? 12. Uh, how many do we have? Oh, we don't even have that kind of wood. We have to go to the sawmill. <gasps> okay, so... Oh, oh boy. Okay, do we have to take this wood back to the sawmill? I totally forgot. So here we are now. I guess we'll fix this bridge now. Bam, look at that. Beautiful. Let's get across and see what's over here. Oh, I ain't afraid of you. Come on, me and my big bad axe. You, on the other hand, are just a pain in my arse. I'm gonna wait till that goes down a little bit. Oh yeah, there we go. Perfect. So, what do we got over here? No, we don't want to track because I'm already tracking one and they're a pain in the butt. Um, all right, so I guess we don't need anything else here. There's another bridge to fix. Oh boy, why? Okay, another 12. That's crazy. Chalice and Arctic Cabin. All right, so um, where are we here? All right, so this is just gonna kind of like loop around. That's cool. So we got to go up this way. And that other bridge was here. So it looks like it was maybe just a shortcut. No, where was that other bridge? You. Where are we now? Here's that other bridge. It was to go here. Interesting. All right, well, we'll check that out. We're just going to loop around here and check this out first. Okay, so there's a bridge. Okay, so we got like a new area over here. That's pretty cool. Uh, right. What's here? There's a... Uh, Invitational letter on the table. Participate in the yearly scavenger hunt. First up, you need to find a green coffee maker. Then you'll get the next clue. All right. 20,000 experience, huh? A green coffee maker. Hmm. Okay, so here's our green coffee maker. Awesome. The next item is a red television set somewhere in the house. A red television set. Let's have a look over yonder on this side. Oh, what? He didn't see me? Oh, nice. <laughs> that was awesome. Wow. Uh, I was totally oblivious of him being there, too. And then I was like, what? Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> what we got in here? Oh, look. Our red television. Awesome. Let's search it. Blue radiator. Okay, that's not evident. Oh, there's a radio. I like to listen to the radios. This is a friendly reminder. Know this. 
Borealis awaits everyone who crosses the crown. This is an automated recording sent from K-23, the crown station. I always just throw the radios too, that way I know I've I've listened to them. Kind of a weird thing. Oh, a blue radiator, huh? There we go. That oh, wasn't too hard to find. Uh, an orange tombstone west of Chalice. All right. Uh, probably going to be right at the end. Right now. Yeah, here it is. Search. Next is a yellow grandfather clock in the northwest of Chalice. Yellow clock. Oh, we got ourselves another campfire. That's awesome. And inside is our yellow grandfather clock. That's wicked. All right, dig up the reward west of the log cabin between two rocks. Okay, so here's our log cabin. There's west. There's the big rocks. It should be like right here. Will you just never mind you. There we go. Wow. Okay. There we go. Uh, after a long journey locating specific objects, you are rewarded with a pretty handsome reward. 5,000 experience and a bunch of items. That was pretty good. We'll drop that stuff off. That wasn't too, too bad, I guess, right? Um, invent and craft builder's kit. You know, I, I'm wondering. I guess we can we'll camp. We'll see what our upgrade was. Okay. Fast learner, fisher, farmer, and doctor. Wow. Okay. It doesn't really give me a super awesome choice there. Uh, the healer would be pretty good. Um, heal yourself more with healing items. Yeah, we'll go with doctor. I think that would be the best thing. So let's go into our inventing craft and see what we got. So we got a builder's kit. We can do this. All right. Perfect. Uh, we can build now. Uh, tear down efficiency. Uh, get all used material back when breaking it. And object you've built using builder's kit. Okay. That was very badly read. <laughs> uh, okay, we can get a lumberjack stuff going on here now. All right. Mealy day versus trees. Awesome. Storage box upgrade. Ooh. Okay. A berserker charm. Need ten of those. And it, one of those things that we find in the uh, killing bosses and stuff like that. All right. Um, I guess that's it, man. That's pretty good so far. That means we can build stuff. Like that's crazy. Uh, so we got a builder kit. We can upgrade this thing, uh, with mana shards, painkillers, bag of blood, uh, acupunctural needles, baseball card. You can upgrade the baseball card. You can upgrade all this stuff now. Oh, that's so cool, man. So this means we can get like more more bonuses wow that's like huge really huge um wow okay do we do it let's just start doing it i guess let's see how much we can do all right all right so it looks like a lot of it i just got like level one because i guess it's mostly rubber i'm gonna need now <laughs> To upgrade a lot of this stuff. Uh, some of it I managed to get to like level three or two. Um, wire lumber and stuff like that. Some require these mana beads too as well. Uh, ceramic and lumber. So things that are all very, very doable. You know what I mean? Like we could make a whole episode of collecting the material and building all that up. You know what I mean? Like 
Especially this builder kit there. That looks interesting. All right, so um, the monsters in this area have come back each time you restart the rest of the campfire. There must be a way to stop that from happening. Invent a link tool tower kit. Install deadly transmission to a link tower. Okay. So, um, let's just sit back down here for a second. Is that just a thing that we just unlock now, or? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. Uh, we... So, okay. Invent a link tool tower. Okay, we already have that. Install a deadly transmission to a link tower. So I guess we have to find a link tower now then, right? Hmm, interesting. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can do that right quick. We still have to gain access to this, but I think that has to do with like lock picking and crud like that that we just don't, we just don't have. Uh, so camp. So. I'll leave that on because it's still kind of cold. Uh, I don't know what it does for thermals. That other, that other thing. Oh crap! Aha! Oh, it's faster. So let's go back down yonder and we'll see if we can find that uh, that link tower. It's right down here, right? So we'll try to make our way down here and we'll see if we can get to this link tower. Definitely gonna find another campfire over here. Yeah. Ugh, take that. All right. Hello. Goodbye. All right, so we need to go down towards that link tower just down here see I knew we would find another one light the fire all right what do we need to do to fix you ten electronics huh huh and that's where that link tower is in there amazing all right so let's go try to find ten electronics we'll drop this stuff off All right, so we made it back here. I uh, got 10 electronics to fix this thing. Uh, we did that. Now open the gate. Awesome. What is in here? This is wicked. Hello? Goodbye. Aha. All right, come on, come on. I think you're so good. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Get you backed up into a corner. You couldn't do nothing. All right. Your toast. Very, very complex area here. Hello. You're dead. It was nice, nice seeing you. Not really, really, really uh, scared. There, nice, phew. All right, so now I'm gonna heal myself again because that guy hits hard. All right, that's good, that's good. A lot of material in here, man, lots of material. Uh, let's go this way, see what we can get in here. I wanna try to avoid that guy. See if I can hit him from behind here. Awesome. Because if I can get rid of this, right, we can just get like a shortcut back, which is good. So it looks like I think we got to go beat Chubby Wubby over here, which shouldn't be a problem. Oh, look. oh I was going to try to get him in two shots. Yeah, got too cocky there. There you go. And you're all backed up into a corner. You don't know where to go. All right. So we got like a new area here too. Oh, nice. All right. So that was that. Um, where's this transmitter? Hello. Goodbye. Oh, what's this? Read. Under construction. Come back later. Oh, okay. 
I'll come back later. All right, so it looks like our transmitter is just up here. Awesome. What are we gonna find in here? Nice. Hold to activate. Beautiful, ladies and gentlemen, beautiful. We have now activated another transmitter, opening up a new area. Bam! Wicked. Totally wicked. So happy. Those, uh, like, you know, Assassin's Creed there shows more, more areas, right? So, transmitters. What's this? Uh, a deadly transmission. Stops, kills monsters from respawning. Uh, each monster permanently killed in this way drops one mana bead. Ooh. And then this. A uh, high energy mana power signal that ripples through the time and space. Uh, transmitter breaks after the... Oh. Uh, respawn all killed monsters. That's tough versions. New spawn rewards. Experience points have better material. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, like, that's it. Oh, wow. I don't want to break it. <laughs> uh... So if I do that, that's what that does. It, I, it takes one mana bead and that. Okay, show statistics such as the monster count for, okay. Stops killed monsters from respawning. Let's, uh, let's try that. Perfect. So, installed. So if I do that, that means Every time I kill an enemy in here, there we go. I should they should drop a mana bead. Let's test that out. Open the gate. Awesome. All these gates that we're opening up, totally wicked. So, where is my? Okay, so if I come here. Do, 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 do. Puts all that stuff away. I leave. Right? Now the enemy should be like respawned, right? So every enemy I kill, I should get a mana bead. Let's test this out. Oh, awesome. Sweet. Okay, so now that's how you get the mana beads for that. Nice. Now, I'm assuming that only works for this area, right? Every area has their own little thing. Which would make sense. It would make sense. So now, all these enemies should never respawn again. That's pretty awesome. Alright, so I think that's where we're going to call it for uh, today's episode, everybody. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and we will see you next time.